for calling the meeting to order for the Bolton Board of Health on the 25th of September. And our first item on the agenda is a public hearing concerning the tobacco regulations that we put in place for the sale of tobacco products and related products. We do this in coalition with an organization who has a representative here that will explain it all. For the record, we have received three letters. Uh, one from the University of Massachusetts Medical School, one from Susan and Kevin O'Brien of Manor Road, and one from Tobacco Free Mass. And these will be available if anybody wants to read them as part of the minutes. Other than that, not to waste time, I will turn the meeting over to our representative of the Tobacco Alliance, and she will explain to you exactly what we are, would like to do tonight to update our tobacco regulations. Okay. Ma'am. My name is Joan Hamlet, and I am the Bolton Tobacco Control Agent, and I'm funded through the Massachusetts Tobacco Control Program to provide this service to the Bolton Board of Health. Um, and I just wanted to clarify for the record, the three letters submitted into the minutes for review are letters of support. And prior mm -hmm. to this meeting, we hand delivered a legal notice about the meeting and a copy of the regulations to each of the merchants and they each signed that they received it. Um, it went very well. Nobody had any, seemed to have any issues about it. So everybody was notified well in advance. They were also notified if they couldn't come to today's meeting, they could submit any comments or concerns they had about the proposed regulation um, into the minutes. And I just wanted to add DJ Wilson, the um, wow. attorney from Mass Municipal Association, where you pay dues to, has reviewed mm -hmm. these regulations. And he submitted for you, and I handed it out, and it's extra copies for anybody in the public who wants it to go into the minutes. It's a, a policy summary, and it basically summarizes the new sections. On the regulation, there's a color coding that says blue is everything new, black is everything you have. So it <coughs> takes it down, the new sections that we're asking the board to review and pass for the community of Bolton. Um, nobody in the audience wants any of this material, so I don't think they're here for the <coughs> At any time, you're welcome to give public feedback. Um, the only thing I wanted to make note of, if there's nobody, you know, you'd open it up to public comment after we review it. The primary um, changes for the town of Bolton would be raising the age to 21, just as there's similar communities around that have raised the age to 21. And then you would be restricting candy, fruit, and flavor, uh, candy, fruit, and alcohol flavored tobacco products to adult only establishments, which at this time, Bolton doesn't have any. Um, so those are your prime, and then there's some updating of sections you already have. So those are the two biggest major changes in um, the draft regulation. And um, one of the things I wanted to add is questions came up with the retailers that did the state uh, raise the age to 21 coming January 1st anyway? The state did. However, they have a grandfather clause in, so anybody that's 18 by December, uh, 31st 2000 will be considered able to purchase tobacco until 2021 um, because it's actually 2021 when that age actually because they do 19 for 2000 and um, 19 20 and the simplest way to put it is anybody who's 18 by December 31st 2000 will be able to purchase tobacco Anybody who is 18 January 1st, 2001 will not be able to put, purchase tobacco. Interestingly enough, in multiple other communities that have a lot more retailers than you, the retailers are upset by this. They said that it creates a problem for them because they have to now rely on the clerk to be able to tell minor December 31st can buy tobacco, minor January 3rd, 2001 cannot. And we have merchants in other communities asking the board to to raise the age prior to, um, right now we have 182 communities in Massachusetts and this map shows you the ones that are around Bolton that have raised the age to 21. 
There was no negative feedback from the merchants when I spoke to them about raising the age to 21 and no negative feedback about the flavor. Um, the board has received no input from any of the retailers. They've received a full copy of the regulation and I gave them my card to ask me any questions and no one has called me. I gave them directly my cell phone number if they had any questions about any <coughs> sections after they had a chance to read it. Um, and it was a notice in the paper and we'll open it up to public comment. Um, but it looks so far like the feedback is very, <coughs> very acceptable to move forward with the proposed changes that the board has previously discussed. So at this time, I ask the chair to open it up to public comment. All right, we'll open up to public comment. Just one comment I'll make. Years ago, we had a drinking age of 18, and we moved it to 21. So a person 19 years old, or 18 years old or 19, would have it, could buy a beer. They changed it. Now they couldn't buy a beer for three years until they turned 21. So they're in and then they were out. And I think that's what the legislature was avoiding. If you're in, we'll move it one year each year so if you can buy tobacco now, you'll be able to keep buying tobacco. But people turning 18 will not. And I think that's where it came from. I don't know if it's justified, but I think that's where it came from. They, they did allow for local boards to raise the age yes, higher, but that. you have to do it and have it implemented by December 30th. Any board who doesn't has to follow. That's the only thing that we can't do more than. If you don't pass it and have it implemented by a December 30th date, then the state is saying all boards can, can't raise it. You have to do no what the state's, state's doing. And some merchants are asking boards. I'm on nine agendas because merchants are asking boards to just do it because they, they don't want to rely on their weekend clerk, their part-time clerk, or the high rate of turnover clerk to make that mistake. Because once the state raises it, they will be using 19-year-olds that are just in that January month or, you know, just, you know, for the clerks to have to really make that distinction, they foresee a lot of violations just because of, you know, unintentional math calculations. I'll leave it at that. Well, we have so few vendors of tobacco products, and if they're not upset about it, uh, we're certainly not. We would just assume make a clean cut to 21 period rather than this graduated system, but that's where I think the legislature bowed to, because there was an awful lot of heat way back when. Yeah. Is there any further public comment? Just to introduce myself, DJ Wilson from Mass Municipal Association. I work with Joan, mm -hmm. support all your efforts. Uh, I was one of those kids that was, for two years, every year for three years, I could legally drink, and the other ten months I couldn't. So I was, I was stuck in that. Yeah. <laughs> it is there. A lot of pulling at home. A lot of pulling at home. Anywho, anything, uh, anything further on this? Obviously, none of our vendors have showed up to object to it. And uh, I think we're, if everybody's in agreement, I would. I think we're ready for a motion to uh, accept what's proposed here. I make a motion. We accept. I would. Uh, I would second it. No, this is good. Anything else to be said? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. With a quorum of two of three people, we have voted to accept the proposals as proposed. They will all start in January 1st. Oh, uh, uh, oh wait a minute. I'm December sorry. 30th. Mm. Yes, um, December 30th. Yeah. We, we actually had uh, wrote that if you were ready to pass it tonight, we would do September 25th with an implementation date of December 1st. One of the things the merchants ask, if you leave a date too long, they have to keep ordering up to that date. And okay. the merchants prefer a 30-day window instead of a 60 or a 90. But you also have sometimes <coughs> six weeks because you always want to start on the first of the month. Mm -hmm. It just makes it easier. Um, so I would propose that the board would, um, it's amended today on September 21st. We'll get the legal notices in the paper. I'll get everybody out a, a signed copy of the reg, and you could have it go into effect for December 1st. Okay. And then, um, should we have another? With that. All right, motion we accept the December 1st information date. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we close All right. 
The only housekeeping detail would be is I would get a clean coffee and you can just drop in the office and sign it. You don't have to wait yeah. to your next meeting. Anytime you have a minute, you yeah. can just sign it. And even if you sign it at your next meeting, there's still plenty of time because you guys meet twice a month. Yeah, they do. Just because I realized we had a clean copy here, but we have this cover page that can't be part of the formal document. Okay. And then I can drop it down and put it on your letterhead and get everybody's names typed in. Very well. So that, you'll send that to me and I can print it out for them? Yep. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Fantastic. With that, then, we'll call the hearing closed.